Youth Runner here with a gentleman that we get to call forever an Orange County champion. Uh, Griffin Cushion from Tesoro, 1422, obviously showing so much poise, so much maturity, understanding the conditions uh, and, the, and the challenges, not that we're only there from the competition, but obviously uh, from uh, Mother Nature uh, as, as well. I, uh, I asked Summer Wilson this, so I'm gonna ask you this. You come in here with a plan A, because when everybody arrived this morning, it's like seemingly pretty ideal conditions and everybody's like, oh, we're going after course records, you know? Did you have to shift to like plan B, plan C, plan D during the race? I was already in plan C, because to be honest, I was not feeling well coming into this race. Um, it was really it was really just for place, um, really get our team some confidence going to postseason. And I think we did that, we placed third, which I'm really excited about. Um, it's a huge step for us. It's a huge step to being the team I know we can be. Um, but yeah, the conditions weren't ideal. And um, it's okay, we, we ran for place, took it out a little slow. Um, it, was, it was a little wacky, but uh, everything worked out. Everything worked out. I'm so glad that you talked about the team because uh, I felt like I let them down last week. Uh, but obviously it was respectful of the fact that you were battling through some things after the race and obviously uh, wanted to be respectful of your time. But uh, just how proud are you of the evolution from what we've seen from Labor Day weekend at Cool Breeze, you know, uh, through all these uh, big opportunities and now it's really starting to come into clear form about what this Tesoro group can be. And I know how proud you are to be the leader, that you want to be as low a stick as possible, you know, to help this group uh, achieve great things, not only at Mount Sac on November 23rd, but Woodward Park again on November 30th. Yeah, I, I've always I've always thought we had a chance at winning state from the start of the season. Even before that, with, uh, we were all juniors and we we're all going to be returning the next year. I knew this team had something to be special. We haven't shown up like the way we should have in these past races. But this was, again, another step forward. We're a team that Tesoro usually peaks a little late with their, with their training, which is what you want to do, um, right in time for postseason. So it, it's just really exciting, and I'm, I'm really happy for it. Most definitely. Just in terms of trusting in each other, you know, obviously you, you trust in, you know, in uh, Coach Phelps, you're just trust, trust in, you're just having the belief in the training. Like you said, the, uh, the, uh, the group is always going to be, you know, uh, on an upswing, uh, you know, come, you know, late October and certainly in, in the month of November. So, I mean, obviously, while, you, you know, even the gentleman that I, I had the blessing of watching at Cool Breeze is not the gentleman standing in front of me today. So just how, how much is just patience and just trusting in, uh, in each other and just, you know, and believing in, uh, in each other and just letting it uh, unfold organically and naturally? Yeah, it's really just believing in the little things, doing, doing what needs to be done. And then in the races, it will all come together. You don't need to worry and stress on the line because the training's been done, the good habits are done if, they, if you have them. Um, you're eating well, you're sleeping well, there's nothing to worry about then. Um, you come into the race knowing what you can do and you just execute. Absolutely. Obviously, you and your entire family and the Tesoro family has such a great respect uh, and, and history for, the, uh, for this county uh, and the sport in this county. So to not only do this for Tesoro and to do this for your family, but it just knowing, you know, the, uh, the gentleman that have had this honor uh, uh, before you, the guys that you competed with when you started as a, as a sophomore, but even the, uh, the guys uh, before that, like for all the things that you have achieved and will continue to achieve, what, what does it mean for Griffin Cushion to be an Orange County champion? It, it means a lot because there, there's been some great talent in this county. It's always, if not the top, one of the top, if not the top county in the state. Um, they're always so competitive, some great talent out here. Um, yeah, uh, we should have gotten Noonan out here, something's going on, hoping that he gets better soon. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really just a blessing to be out here and competing here, and winning's just a bonus, really. Last thing, I know that you will see Evan in the future, and obviously uh, we wish him uh, all the best, but as a gentleman that started as a sophomore, what we've seen already from a future star uh, in Aiden Antonio, you know, as a freshman and a sophomore uh, already, like just how uh, how impressed are you? I mean, uh, the fact that like, you know, 
he, uh, he went with you as, uh, as long as he could, and obviously you just showed that veteran presence and, you know, and maturity and composure, you know, to kind of, you know, uh, really, uh, really, uh, you know, attack that, uh, that sharp turn and, you know, and kind of create a gap. But, uh, you know, much like I always felt like it was going to be a when and, uh, and not an if for you, I have a feeling that we're going to be calling him, if not the entire Woodbridge team, yeah. champions here pretty soon, right? Yeah. yeah, they're definitely, they're definitely super talented. Um, I, I see a lot of myself in that guy. He's, he's showed some similar times from when I was a little younger. And I think it was just like the experience to learn. Um, um, it, it, yeah, it just comes with racing. You kind of get a feel over time for when to make moves, when when's the best time to kind of go out there. And yeah, it, he'll get there. Absolutely. Well, he's got uh, two more years, uh, but obviously uh, last one, best one for you uh, at Orange County. Uh, couldn't happen uh, to a more uh, deserving uh, competitor. Uh, again, Driven Cushion, uh, winner for Tesoro uh, in the boys' sweepstakes race, and third place as a team. I expect uh, huge things on the horizon uh, for all involved parties uh, for the Tesoro program uh, in the month of November. Uh, Well-deserved, man. Congrats. Okay, thank you.